My name is Clark Warner, and I'm uh, Executive Career Director at Bport.com, um, and I DJ as well. Um, but right now, my main focus is, is work, and that's uh, being at Bport and helping DJs get their music out to the world. Yeah, the Bport stage, you know, is for how our lineup kind of came together. Um, you know, we really worked together with Pax How to make sure we were painting a picture that was today and yesteryear. Um, and I don't mean yesteryear in a in an old way, but in a who are the, the, the pioneers and the legends that we all still aspire to, to be like if you're a DJ or a producer. And you got people like John Digweed or Moby or Masters at Work um, or even Ellen Alien who are really, uh, you know, they've been in this in this business for a long time and making their mark around the world, um, both in the studio and on stage. And we want to make sure we were having a mix of new talent, people like Laura Jones and Ellen, uh, sorry, Art Department, um, to really have fresh sound today and then connect that with some of the roots coming from people like Kenny Dope and Louis Vega with Masters at Work. B-Port has really brought in this this element of I need it now uh, which is like nothing new to e-commerce and other things like that you know other sites like iTunes of course and stores um, but the way we do it is something that we really take a lot of pride in which is you know putting forth what we feel is the best music this week every week every every day of the year um, because there's so much new music coming out. And a lot of times it's not brand new music. A lot of times it's a new release of an old record. And we want to tell that story um, through news and editorial, not just a banner on the store as well. So DJ charts is a really important thing for us as well to kind of translate what's hot today and what, what people should know about on the dance floor today. When we moved from Flash to HTML5 a couple years ago, um, we saw a tremendous surge in traffic growth at B-Port. And we knew people were coming there, DJs were coming from around the world. Um, some DJs were bedroom DJs and some were the, you know, the pros that we all want to be like. Um, but the traffic started to build with fans who were looking for what DJs were playing too. And we knew we had to have something that was going to be of value to DJs and them first. So we decided to build DJ profile pages and give basic tools for DJs to really show their personality. Um, through top 10 charts, which sometimes is, you know, it is what it is, but not every DJ wants to put up the hottest tracks today. They want to talk about where they came from and what inspired them to become a DJ. And that's the cool thing about Beatport is we, we really pride ourselves in having as much music as we can looking back because to connect to those moments in time, you know, it could be only four years ago for someone, but if that's where they started and that's what's special for them, we want to give DJs the ability to promote to their fans with the music they love, put up their mixes, add dates, just to let people know where they are. And that's it, real basic. Uh, and it's been a phenomenal reaction so far. But you're right, the missing link was mixes because we knew fans wanted one thing and that was mixes. When it comes to uh, promoting yourself as a DJ, you might start with your backyard and 50 people at either a bar or a club or even a restaurant um, or a loft party. And that's how things start. We have to start with uh, your friends first, and then it grows and it grows. And if you're doing something right, either with the way you promote your music or the way you make your music or the way you DJ your music, that can turn into something global pretty quickly if it's got all the right elements. So we're super happy with mixes, and I hope more people get behind it uh, and start using it as a, a platform to get discovered, because that's what it's meant for.